Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about snapping or how we can replicate one popular type of snapping uh, that is that uh, is available on other CAD tools like AutoCAD and Rhino. The between two points or finding the mid location between two points. Uh, in Blender, this is incredibly easy because we have the 3D cursor. Let me give you just a quick uh, context in case you are coming from one of those uh, two uh, softwares or any other CAD, CAD tool. I have a screenshot from one of my uh, books here. This is from AutoCAD 2025. And the snap that I'm talking about is this one here under OSNAP overrides the mid between two points. It's an easy way to find uh, the mid location between two reference points that will be uh, informing to AutoCAD. In this uh, example here, I'm using it to place furniture on the middle of a wall. Let me show you uh, where it is on a Rhino. We have something similar here on a Rhino. If you want to start a drawing and on the left, you have your snapping. Uh, and if you press the shift key, you will see that we have a between option. It will do the same thing. It will find the mid location between two points that will be specifying on your drawing. Let's get back to Blender. And here in Blender, you can uh, easily find those references by just coming here and selecting two vertices. And with the help of the 3D cursor, if you press shift S, you can go, uh, come here under a cursor to select it and the 3D cursor will stay at the middle of your, of your two selected vertices, which is uh, quite uh, easy to do. Now you can select any drawing or any reference and press Shift S and choose Selection to Cursor. Now this chair, it's uh, exactly at the middle between these two points. As long, of course, the origin point for this uh, chair object is at the middle of the drawing as well. Now, we can go beyond just finding the mid location by using something like PDT, which is uh, one of the add-ons that I like the most to use here for precise drawing in Blender. Uh, here we have in uh, the design operations, you have this option where you can place your not only the 3D cursor, but you can do a lot more by selecting two points or two vertices, uh, two edges or faces, and uh, using this percentage to make a calculation or to tell PDT where to uh, place, in this case, the cursor. For instance, if you choose 50%, it will split the distance 50-50 and, place, uh, and uh, place the 3D cursor exactly at the center. What if we want to uh, select these two vertices and create three segments here? So I will, I will split this in 33.33%, press this button, and now we have one third here and two thirds on this place, on this uh, segment. I can select my chair, press Shift S, selection to cursor, and place it there. If I press Shift S now, or D, sorry, we can try to create another segment by coming here and choosing 66.66, uh, uh, 66, or you can just, like I, I like to mention, you can use, you can create expressions on many or basically any text field here. You can just duplicate, uh, duplicate that by two, multiply by two, and press the button again and it will move. Now we have two thirds here and one third here. If I press Shift S, selection to cursor, now we have three segments. And this is an easy uh, way, uh, an effective way to find the mid location between two points. And uh, this is it. This is a simple, I know, but uh, it's something that is uh, important for uh, people coming from other CAD softwares. Uh, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you find it useful, if you uh, think it might help someone else, uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of uh, the future tutorials. See you next time. Bye.